friends, I'm Maya from Fit Me Mind and welcome back in my kitchen. Today we'll be making crispy cauliflower tacos. I'm gonna make my soft shell tacos um, yeah, by myself because I can't find those small ones here in my village. For the dough, we first need a big bowl to mix everything together and then put yourself some flour. I'm using um, wheat flour, but you could also use spelt flour or purpose flour. Fill the flour in a bowl. Next up, I will add about one teaspoon of baking powder, then a little pinch of salt to give it flavor, about 180 milliliters of water. The last ingredient is oil. I'm using olive oil, but you could also use um, rapeseed oil or sunflower oil, just something like that. Once your dough looks kind of like that, you can slightly flour your hands and knead it roughly. You can also get your dough on the working surface, spread a little bit more flour on top and just keep kneading for about five to, yeah, about five minutes. This is how the dough should look like after kneading for a few minutes. Now it will rest in this bowl for around 30, to one, 30 minutes to one hour. Whilst our dough is resting, we will get to our cauliflower. But first, we'll make um, the batter to coat it in there. And for that, I'm gonna use flour as well. But first, I gotta grab a bowl. Add the flour to your bowl. Then I will simply season it with salt, pepper, and some smoked paprika. You will find that in most um, well sorted supermarkets. You could also use more spices, but I will keep it pretty simple. Now I'm gonna whisk the dry ingredients until well combined, just like that. And as liquid, I'm gonna use now water, but you could also use plant milk. And then just pour it in there whilst mixing. The batter should have kind of like a pancake batter consistency, pretty runny, which is um, yeah good for what we we'll need it for. Now we get to our cauliflower, the highlight of this dish, and this one looks so nice. It's pretty big, but anyways, let's chop it up. You'll need a sharp knife and first we'll get rid of all the green stalks. If you're using an organic cauliflower, you can save those and um, bake them in your oven for being low waste or no waste. Um, so I'm also gonna keep them. This is almost a workout. <laughs> Look at these huge cauliflower florets. I gotta cut them in half or in quarters. Here we go, everything is cut up and now we'll simply put it in the batter and also in some breadcrumbs. These are homemade breadcrumbs by my mom. If you're using a big head of cauliflower as I do, this recipe will make about two baking trays of cauliflower. All of our cauliflower bits are now beautifully coated and they will go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let's go. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Stay hydrated. <laughs> It's time to get back to our tortilla dough and it rested now for about 30 minutes whilst we were making the cauliflower. And now you gotta slightly flour your surface to prevent it sticking to it. And get your beautiful ball of dough. Knead it again for two minutes. And then get a knife and cut it into 10 to 16 pieces, depending on how big or how, how small your taco shells should be. Then use your hands and a rolling pin to shape them into tiny circles. I 
I made them in about this size, the next step is frying them. Heat a pan on medium high heat and place the tortillas on there. <laughs> Our crispy cauliflower is calling. Just look at these crispy bites, I'm gonna try one. <laughs> they are so, so crispy. I'm literally obsessed with crispy baked cauliflower. Our tortillas and the crispy cauliflower is done now. That means it's time to fill the tacos. I'm also gonna chop up some cucumber, tomato and parsley for the filling. To fill them, I'm gonna grab one soft shell tortilla and also some vegan yogurt. I'm using soy yogurt. Place it in the middle. Then get a few bites of the crispy cauliflower. If you like some more fresh veggies. And, and because I'm addicted to it, some sriracha mayo. And finish it off. All right, we're done with our taco and it looks amazing. I've also topped it with some sriracha mayo and it's time to give it a taste test. This will be kind of hard to eat, but I'm just gonna try. This tastes literally amazing. The crispy cauliflower comes perfectly together with the soft tortilla. I just love it. So highly, highly recommend it. Definitely try this at home. This was the video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, the tacos turned out perfectly. I'm really, really content with the results. So if you want to, you can give this video a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. Um, I will drop a new video every Sunday. And yeah, without further ado, I'm going to enjoy my tacos now and wish you a great day.